Unfortunately, I think I might be beaten by this thing. I think the crank arms I made might be too long, because right now it's pushing the legs to like positions they can't really go in. Um, I can't maintain them all at 90 degrees. So um, the point is, it doesn't seem to be working. And I was planning on leaving for college, well, for grad school tomorrow. Um, that's postponed one more day anyway, but I don't think this is something I can rectify. Um, because I also, I have to take it all down. Uh, you know, I can't just leave this hanging in the center of my parents' garage when I'm not here anymore. Um, so I guess I'm beaten for now, but what I'm gonna do, I mean, I learned a lot from this, and like, definitely, the whole point, you know, was the building process, and that's why I enjoy and trying to solve problems. And, like, I'm not going to give up on this. Because the other problem is, I could just shorten the legs and all the cranks, but um, they don't really seem to be working anyway. Since I can't weld anything, I can't hold the angles as well as I need them. So I need to just go somewhere that I have a welder and I can, you know, make things solid. Because um, these bolted connections don't seem to be working for the crank. So, you know, I, I think I'm going to take it apart tomorrow. Um store it I can't really take it with me so that means I can't work on it for a while so I'm gonna upload all these videos I was hoping to have like you know, this really cool machine and be able to set it out and have it walk around and you know have a great finish to this video um, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen but anyway anyone who has watched all of these want to thank you for your time I'm gonna keep making stuff keep making videos um, Hopefully I can come back to this project and actually make it walk around. I mean, I think it looked awesome. The geometry is right. I really wish someone else, you know, I should have told my family. No one else was really excited though. Okay, you know, what do you do with it now? And I'm like, well, just look at what I made and that's awesome. And yeah, it doesn't work. And if it had worked, maybe they would have been more excited. Um, but anyway, it's like after midnight now. This whole week I've been putting in a lot of hours. And I just need to have the proper tools to make this thing work out and some more time. I just realized I'm an idiot and I know exactly what I did wrong. <sighs> and that's really frustrating. I wanted, oh, this is too bad, I wanted the diameter of the circle that the interior joints were traveling on to be 0.7 of the main joint, Whoa, whatever that works out to be, I forgot, eight inches, eight and a half inches. Um, so I made each of the cranks eight and a half inches, but that ends up being like the radius of the circle. Obviously, it's not going to work, and that's a pretty stupid mistake. Um, I guess that's what I get for trying to rush through this crank thing when I didn't really have a plan. But, uh, you know, I could cut things down um, pretty easily and rebolt them. But the problem right now is, like, the joinery. So, I, I, you know, that's not going to fix things anyway. Um, but I don't want to... I have this video be like a big downer of, you know, I spent a lot of time on this and then it didn't end up working because that's not really the point, you know, I made something, it was awesome, I mean, you can't even get in the camera because it's so big and it's like a giant creature and, you know, whatever. There's something about building that's just it's very satisfying for me and, you know, not everyone likes that, but I really do, so I had a good time. I learned a lot about, like, mechanisms and stuff. I don't really work with this kind of stuff. I'm, uh, I'm studying to be a structural engineer. Um, you know, how to make things strong. I know how to make things sturdy. I've never designed anything or worked with really anything that moved. I've, the closest I've come is a steel bridge that's completely stationary. So I've never had joints that are moving or walking or anything like that. So this is a big learning experience for me. Um, I guess you have to just take inspiration from wherever you can get it and, you know, do the things that you enjoy doing and when you hit things that are problems or pitfalls or whatever, you know, don't let that just stop you. You learn from it. And but still, you know, I learned a lot from this. It solved a lot of problems and I still have some to solve. So I'm not going to give up on this project. I'll come back to it. And hopefully someday I'll have a sweet walking robot, you know, sometime next year. And I'll post it for everyone to see. You know what? I just spent a couple of minutes inside sulking after my little giving up speech. And I decided to F that. Uh, it's not that late. I still have time. I mean, it is like 2 a.m. 
<laughs> but as I said, I'm gonna be here an extra day. I still have time. So I'm gonna at least cut off the ends, drill like eight more bolt holes and try it because maybe the joints will work. I don't know. But I'll give it a shot. So I started cutting. I don't wanna give up, basically. Started cutting. This is what the old one looked like. Those are what the new ones look like. So as you can see, much smaller arms, completely different geometry. And hey, it might actually work. Probably not. Let me just preface that. Don't give your hopes up, but maybe. All right, if I'm gonna be able to make this crank mechanism work, I really should have lock washers, because um, I need them to, to use the bearing friction. Um, I don't have any, so I'm testing it out. I just took these washers. Um, and took a saw to them in two directions. As you can see, I mean, there's a lot of texture. So a normal washer, it's real shiny and smooth and whatever. It doesn't have enough friction. So these ones, tried to rough them up. Hopefully that'll be enough to have it bare on the surface um, and keep everything stationary. All right, well, I'm happy to say it's done or as done as it's going to be for probably a year. <laughs> um, I don't think it's gonna work, unfortunately. But let me show you the crank. That's the crank that runs along right here. Um, and it's set up, it works pretty well, connects all the legs. The problem is, it's not completely rigid. So like this and this need to stay parallel. And they're only connected by a bolt at the top and these are supposed to be gripping on it. And that's just, it's not a very good solution. All right, well it's down and it's standing. Um, it definitely doesn't, the, the crank, isn't gonna let it turn and um, like this joint would be okay but some of the joints that have wider pieces this one's pretty wide it might interfere I'm not sure um, but in some places you could see that the arms just weren't able to pass through the joint but the biggest problem is uh, just the lateral stiffness unfortunately and I, I kind of thought it was going to be a problem all along. I just didn't know how to, else to connect four pieces at one joint, how to do stuff like that without making them two-dimensional. Um, but with all these two-dimensional joints and they're all running um, the direction of travel that the, that the machine would supposed to be able to go, means that laterally there's no stiffness. So you can see the whole thing sways side to side and has a hard time even just standing up and I'm sure if it started walking it wouldn't really work so right now the nice part is the legs are set in like their proper positions you can see that would be the stepping pattern um, of some legs forward and some legs back um, but this is definitely a problem that I can't fix right now and I'm not sure if it is fixable using these materials because of the way I connected these joints laterally um, but as I said before, I learned a lot, um, you know, I'm going to have to take it apart and I'll give it some thought while I'm at school and I'll try to build some other things, maybe some things that actually work. Um, I was thinking about it, like, you know, I haven't posted any videos so far, I was going to make everything and then worrying, worry about editing it and stuff while I'm away. Um, so I thought about it and I was like, you know, I don't have to post anything. It would be great if it was a success and I could just like not post it since it was a failure. But that's not a very good attitude because um, you know, if someone else is out there building something and like say this did succeed, they were inspired by it and they wanted to build something themselves and then they failed, they might be like really depressed about it or disappointed or whatever. And I'm not really because um, I think it's something I might be able to fix or if not I learned a lot. So you know if you learn something by watching my mistakes like I did then that's probably helpful. So um, hopefully you take something out of these videos and thanks for your time. If there's any young nerds in the audience, you might want to have them look away at this moment. Cause it's a massacre! Robot parts everywhere, blood and guts, and the boneyard. I tried to film myself taking it apart. Um, and apparently I did it wrong. I swear I hit record. Because um, I was going to time lapse the taking apart, but it didn't work. Anyway, it's a lot of freaking pieces. <laughs>